Got to get rum and a coke, innit? It's got to be done. Sun. There's something about having that sun out that just mm, does it for me. Right, let's let's do this. Giving you a tour um, as I make my way to reception downstairs. You can look in, see the lovely scenery in the background. Um, the golf course I'm going to play is over there, past those trees. You can hear the lovely birds, and it's a lovely. Lovely, lovely area. Hiya. Hello. Back for my five o'clock. Perfect, yeah. So, I think I booked for two of these as well. Two. Okay. You I think, also need clubs, yeah? Yes. Clubs. I think you put it in the system. Clubs and yeah, a cart. Oh, okay. And two. Two rounds? Two yeah. rounds. Well, one today and then one tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, we have a got loads of fancy stuff in here, people. Round. Uh. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, brilliant. And I think I just have a Lamborghini left, that's yeah. all. Okay. <laughs> okay, people just getting into my Lamborghini. And I've got my chauffeur driver. Yes, people, it's happening. Okay. All right, brilliante. All right, you're the driver. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, cool. Okay, people, when you get to my level, you got your caddy, your chauffeur driven to hole number one. Let's tell you what. There's these little insects, I'll tell you that now. One gave me a little love bite. I'll tell you that hurt. Okay. Yes, guys, we're back with you. I'm at hole one. We're at Grand Canary. Grand Canaria. I've got my missus in the background. She's controlling. She's my caddy for the day. I'm at hole one. We're just starting. I'm just putting it down here. So yellows, it says 308 yards to the flag. Now Grand Canary is kind of deserty, so they've got to have the sprinklers on full stop to keep this in really good condition. Okay, I've got wooden tees that were supplied to me by the course. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm playing with clubs I don't know very well. Um, I'm getting my excuses all ready together. I'm using shricks and balls. These golf clubs, they're not as stiff as mine. I can feel the... Okay, we're off and running. We're off and running. We're off and running. Okay, it's not out far. I use a seven iron. First hole's three at eight yards. I hit with the seven. I feel like it went a hundred yards. Not too sure. Didn't go that far, but. Okay, we're off and running. That's the main thing. We're off and running, people. Uh, that's it. Okay, let's go. We haven't lost the ball on the first hole. So we've got a chance. You just stop. Stop, stop there, park there. You can put, go a bit qu closer, babes. You can drive on the course, you know. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is me? There's two balls there, one there. Can you drive? You can drive to the balls? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay. I'm not sure which one is me. Uh, speed up a little bit, slow coach. All right, stop, that's it, stop, that's it. You're reading it. Tricks and three. I'm not sure which one is my ball. There's two balls on the course. So I think that might be mine, but I'm not really sure. I 
I just have to lift it up just because, yeah, slow, bro. That's my ball. Oh, that feels short. What is this? Rescue. Oh, the grass feels sweet, you know. I didn't catch that right. Even though I'm using their golf clubs, it's still a fun course. Just depends on how serious you take golf. Didn't want to hit it too hard. Oh! That was close. Yeah, it was close. It's quite spacious, guys. So you see, we're just driving around now. They've got the... Okay, yellow tees. Yep, there that we're here, yep. So, it's nicely laid out, yep. Yep. So oh, I'm gonna go off it, okay. That's it. Okay. If I don't park yet, I've got to um, get my club out. Right, so 288. We're hitting all the way up there, guys. All the way up there. This is just holiday golf. So far, so good. Uh, it's just lovely weather to be fair. I keep on feeling short. I don't know when you're used to your clubs, you feel short. Oh, I hit that. I hit it. It just felt like it didn't go anywhere. Oh, okay, I hit it, I don't know, it felt light, like there was nothing in it, my club, I hit the word hit with my club, but it, ah, oh, I don't know, I made contact and it was like, dope, anyway, it's all good, right, let's go babes, it's all good guys, it's all good, um, the course has got some patchy areas, but the weather's good, the vibe is good, it's just... Right, stay there babe, stay there. Stay, stay there. Right, I have to go and get my ball. Um, I tell you what, I got lucky there. I hit that, it hit the rock and came back down. <laughs> hit the wall. You see they got all the rocks there? It hit the rocks over there and then came back down. So it was out of bound and then came back inbound. So I got a bit of luck. Lucky, lucky, lucky in a lucky world. I thought the sun would really be punishing me, but I'm all right at them. Yeah. Could do with a bit of beer. Let's go. Okay, guys. I'll clock in after a couple of holes, rather than just continuously filming. I'm now on hole... Yeah. I'm on hole eight. And if you can see in the distance there, it's absolutely lovely. You've got to play over water. We're on hole eight. Um, the greens are really nice. The fairway is not one of the best, to be fair with you. Um, it's, it's overcast at the moment. And it's about 100 yards to the flag. So you can see the flag. You know, they've got the classic, what every golfer likes, water. So I just need to make sure I get over the water. 
Some people would play aggressive. Some people wouldn't. I really don't want to get into what. Probably I should play a nine iron here. But it is what it is. Okay, let's have a look. Once I don't overhit it, it should be okay. And just like thinking of water, it goes in water. Yeah. Need to be worried. I just stuffed it. Oh gosh, that is going to go in the water as well. Did you see where that went? No, like it hit a rock. Okay, let me hit one more. Well, that will make it over even if it's... Yep. I took three shots there. Um, we'll check. Two provisionals. Well, let's go, Debs. Let's see if I lost those balls. I couldn't really tell, guys. It's a bit of a weird one. Where's the first ball? No, that's, that's... Oh, the first ball is... Oh, first ball might not be lost. One sec. First ball might not be lost, guys. Oh, no, no problem. Yeah, dry. You never know. The gods might have spared me. We're not going to spend long looking for it. You can't see it staying in the rocks there. It came over. It's a crap shot. It probably would have stayed in the bushes. All right, I'll take my punishment. I'm not going to bother looking for it anymore. I'll take my punishment. I'm such a coward. I heard a, 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 a duck quacking and my heart skipped a beat. Right, this is my third ball. But I feel like I didn't lose my second ball. Because if I don't lose my second ball, I had like a prax. Oh, look at it, it's here. I found it. I found it, that's it. Great. Eight. Fucking hell. Come on. Nine. That's a nine on that one, boys. On the simple, on a, on a, on a par three, I got a nine. It always happens, isn't it? It's those ones that are supposed to be easy that, I don't know what it is. It's a fun course to play, to be honest. Um, plus it's that holiday feeling as well. All right. So this is hole 11. This is their signature hole, uh, hole 11. So I suppose everybody that comes here has to play hole 11. And we're just going to take a walk so you can see what it's about. That's the hotel over there, guys. So we're staying in, those hot in that hotel there on the mountain. Um, they've got apartments over there. Um, they probably belong to another company. And what we're doing is you see all the rock there. And so from up here, it's 168 yards and we've got to get it down there. All I want to do is not get in the rocks. So this is where 
This is the money hole. This is the one they're bragging about. Talk about a fluke. It bounced everywhere to get down. What a fluke shot. Talk about a fluke. I made it somehow. Oh, that was a fluke, guys. Proper fluke. Oh, let me go and pick up my tea. It bounced here first, you know. It bounced here on the women's tea. Yeah, man. It was going everywhere that it was supposed to. Then it bounced. Oh, it might be lost, boys. No, I see it there, isn't it? That down there. What's that? That's a white ball right there, look. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It bounced on. I saw it bounce on this thing here. I mean, it was a real 419 shot. It went everywhere but where it was supposed to go, but landed there. Careful, careful, Debs. Easy. Easy, Mayo. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't scare the driver. Tip for everybody, hit it left. <laughs> hit it left, guys, you'll survive. I'm, I'm a classic example of that. Somehow I got down here. From up there, in those mountains, somehow I got down here with a 419 shot. Right, all I need now is the shot that my esteemed guy at World of Golf taught me. This is his shot that he taught me and I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it, baby. That's the shot. Learn at World of Golf. Okay, let's go for it. Let's do that shot. Oh, short. But I love that shot. They would have said, yo, me play round the bunker. But my first bunker of the day, what can I say? Three. One there, two in there, three there, four there, five, six. Six on that, Debs. Guys, I'm on the last hole. I've had amazing time. The signature hole is hole number 11, but for me, I didn't film it because I just wanted to get on with the game and stuff like that. My best hole, I think, is hole number 13. So I'm just going to zoom in so that you guys can see it. Uh, across there, there's like a um, bridge, you have to, a wooden bridge you have to cross. And you're on an island and then you've got to shoot the ball across that lake over there. That, for me, was the most exciting um, hole by far for me. So that's it there, you cross the bridge. So you cross the bridge there. It's an absolutely lovely hole. Um, I found it uh, fantastic. As my missus says, she laughed now. She said orgasmic, yes. It was an orgasmic hole. I'm on the last one playing uphill. I don't know what my scores are. I'll be quite interested to add them up. Um, I think it's in par with my 56 per hole to 58. I'm assuming between 112 and 120 something. All right. Easy, easy, Jamaica. <laughs> Right. 
Yeah. Okay, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. We're just there. All right, cool. That looks like a. Uh, well, how far out is that? Oh, let's try seven iron. Last hole, people. I'm exhausted, and I've been, I've been in the um, uh, what do you call it, the car all day. I don't know how people would walk this course. You must be a madman. Okay. Three to here. Four. Five. Five and two, Debs. Five and two. Huh? Was that five, yeah? Five, five. Five and two. I did it, guys. I finished the course. So what I... 112 is my last score. Was 56 times two? 112. What did I say I score? Between 56 and 52. On point. Num Wherever I do, I score the same score. Now, this is an absolutely fantastic location. You've got the spa. It's an awesome resort. Um, there's a gym for the gym freaks. You know, uh, I've done a flyover. They've got these cabanas that are high on the rocks. So it's the kind of place you can come with your missus. Your missus gets a spa. You play your round of golf. In the evening, you both come back together, have a little chit chat about what you went through the day. They have activities in the day, like bits of exercises. Now it's not all inclusive, it's full board. So what that means is you're gonna be paying for all your drinks. So all you guys that just wanna get tanked, um, you're gonna to pay to get tanked, essentially is what I'm saying. Um, but still, it's such a lovely resort. I believe someone said it belongs to the Sheraton group, so some people expect very high standards from it. For me, I just found it on Love Holiday and it looked like a really nice location. So I booked it. We're only out here for four days. As you might have heard the guy in the shop say they do packages as well. So if you're tied to the hotel, you get discount on those packages. It'd be very hard for somebody to come here and not have a good time. You'd have to be one of those really, really picky people or just one of those super unlucky people who, ever, who will always go somewhere and bad things happen. But for the average Joe, you're gonna have a lovely time. Here is a lovely place to bring the missus. The standard is very high. The price is reasonable. Normally I'll tell you how much I pay for stuff, but being as this is a present for my missus, I don't really want to be blasting the price all online. But what I would say is go and do your research, come out here for four days and you can get a deal. Plus there's other deals. So I just came out with Love Holiday just for the holiday. But while I've been around, I noticed that some people are here with a spa, with a spa package. So they came over a spa package and they get so many spa treatments free. And I'd assume that there's people that come here on a golf package. Now golf is free here in the summer, in July and August. And I assume the reason why it's free is because it's so bloody hot. That's pretty much it to be fair.